All right, shalom to the nation of Israel and to the whole full leg. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kadash. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father. Ba'ashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Okay, we want to give double honors to our elders and our elder apostles of the great millstone, tell us the truth and the down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, occupying us of the Christmas truth. All right, we're the brothers of the great millstone camp out of the morning. I will come back at you with another video of the Holy Spirit. And uh, in today's lesson, we're just going to be going into how our sins are not going, uh, uh, we're hoping for our sins to not be imputed unto us. All right, so Lord is willing, this video is edifying. And uh, if you want to go ahead and read that in 1 John. This is 1 John 1 and 8. You can start at uh, verse 6. This is verse, 1 John 1 and 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. And do not do not the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another that's right and that light is a representation of our lord yahweh shah if your brother want to grab uh saint john uh either saint john 9 to show who, uh, who that light represents this is uh First John nine and five. Saint John. Uh, yeah, Saint John nine and five. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. That's right, and that's written in red letters. So that's showing you who, who's speaking. All right, it's our Lord Yahweh Shah showing showing that He is the light. All right, but you go, you can go back. Right. This also just symbolic of these words, right? Yahweh Shah is these words, right? Scriptures in John, First John one, or not First John, but uh, John one, around the first. 14 verse speaks about how the, the there was the word made flesh, right? Speaking of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? It also says that Yahweh Shai was written in the volume of the book. Okay. Said, Before you, can I hit this piece up? The, the line back on how, you know, the Lord, you know, like you just mentioned, the Lord is the light and us being a representation of it as well. Huh. Uh, this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 6. It said, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of the most high upon the children of disobedience and when you read up it goes into all of those wicked things those unc uh, un unclean things that the lord don't like it says verse 7 it says be not ye therefore partakers with them which is the children of disobedience it says for ye were sometimes darkness so those children of disobedience are in darkness right and it says be not partakers with them because we was walking in that same vibration we was walking Amongst the uh, 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 amongst the unrighteous, you know, because the scripture says, "Follow not a multitude to do evil." You know, we we was once in that state, but just to quote a quick precept, it says that the Lord has called us out of that darkness into His marvelous light. I read you that word, but you got it up. Uh, verse eight, it says, "For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Walk as children of light." You know, since the Lord has shed the light on us, we gotta walk. Like the Lord walk, which is the light. Yeah. Yeah. It's back in First John 1 and 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. That's right. So if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves because the scriptures talks about uh you got Romans in Romans 4. Uh now Romans 3, uh, 3. Yeah, I got it. This Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. That's right. So we all have sinned and came short of the glory. So we all have committed a, 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 some type of sin, you know, some uh, some way, somehow, man. All right. So we can't say that we're not, uh, 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 we have not sinned, you know, until Yahweh Shah. Right, that's going into that Luke 5. We have to, uh, we have that understanding, right? The elect is going to have that understanding that they're sinners, right? Because that's who Yahweh Shah came for, is the sinners, right? Mm -hmm. So that, to call them to repentance. You might as well grab it. Yep. This is Luke 5 and 31. It says, And Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick, right? And 
the, uh, as the whole for elect, right? We we have that understanding that we're sick, right? We're in this flesh, yep. right? That's why we need the Hawashai, the physician, like the scriptures speak about in uh, Sirach 10, right? The uh, the physician, uh, the scriptures speak about the physician coming. Um, this, this uh, we, we have the understanding that we need a physician. We're in these wicked bodies. We're not in the new covenant, right? We need the Hawashai. Yep. But it says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Right, so we are sinning. We're in this sinful flesh. Right. So right. We're, we're hoping to be a, a part of those that that don't have their sins imputed unto them. Right. And Lord's will be getting to grab some scriptures uh, going into how we don't have our sins imputed unto us, like it speaks about in Psalms 32. Yep. Um. Hold on a little quick slide here. Uh. Yeah. That's cool. Uh. You you, you keep reading in uh, uh that same, that first John so I could. You said you had the Psalms 32. It's cool for you guys that since I quoted it. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, read verse nine, and then we're gonna we're gonna hop into it. Come on, this is uh First John one and nine. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's right, and that's what it comes down to. It comes down to confessing our sins. All right. It goes down to uh, 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 repentance. That's true. Repentance is when you confess your sin. When you point out what you're uh, what you're doing wrong. Acknowledging right? your faults. Yeah, acknowledging yeah. your faults. Right. That comes with uh, examination. All right. You examining uh, yourself and your uh, uh, you knowing your faults. All right. And, and, and you and you turn from that, man. Yeah. It's not just about saying, "Oh, I'm a sinner. I'm this. I'm that." And then you're not actually putting in the action to turn away from from those wicked things you're doing. It's about that that actual effort to strive to do what's right in the eyes of your Hapa Shemiah Shah. Scripture speak about uh, 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 see, uh, trying to offend less, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. That's a, it's just a, uh, through that precept I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Yeah. So that's how we get the understanding and knowing how to retain that. You know, to get our sins um, from being imputed unto us. Yeah. This is how we obtain that by applying these words and living them and walking in them. Yeah, and, and that's the spirit that you said uh, that, you, that you quoted a uh, thin and less. You know, because that's not what the Christian Christian uh, churches teach you. You know, they'll they'll put on the show saying, "Oh yeah, I repent. Oh, I'm changed. I'm a changed man. This, that, and the third. But they don't continue in that uh, in that like manner. You know, they say one thing and then they go back to doing the same thing. Huh? You know, but we, but we ought to be uh, uh, changed, you know, in the, in our mind, you know. But we're going to grab it. Uh, this is. It's a Psalm chapter 32 and verse 1. It says, Psalm of David, a mass chill. It says, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blesses the man unto whom Yahweh imputed out iniquity, and in whose spirit there was no doubt. You know, and we pray and are hoping to be, be that man. That those people, uh, those ones whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins is covered, you know, and whose iniquities is not imputed unto him, man. Right. And whose spirit is no doubt, and how, and how do we get that through our Lord? Right. The scripture. He, the Lord tells us how to, to how to. Uh to uh, have our sins not imputed unto us, right? Right. We just mentioned, right? Confessing our sins, right, and, and repenting, right. That's one of the ways. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab this real quick, just because I keep saying it. I wanna uh, get it the precept. This is Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. Saith the Lord Yahweh, repent and turn yourselves from all your your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be a ruin. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is what we're, we're to do, right? We're to confess, right, and repent, right, and turn from those ways, right? What does it say in Isaiah 55 and 6? It says, let the righteous, uh, uh, let the unrighteous forsake his ways and the wicked and the his wicked thoughts. Man, the wicked man his thoughts. Come, come. That's what we're to do. This is how the Lord wants us to move, how to pour in that contrite spirit, be stricken in our heart for our, uh, for our wicked ways. This Lord said that he would not... Uh, he will not despise a poor and a contrite spirit. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. So this is how we move. But you know, you got it. Uh, yep. Oh, grab uh, Romans four. I'll, I'll grab this right here. Uh, 
this is Romans chapter 4, and uh, I'll start at verse 4. It says, Now to him that worketh is the reward, not reckoned of grace, but of death. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also described the, the blessedness of the man unto whom the Most High imputed righteousness and without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not, uh, it's like it says, Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. All right, and that lines up with that, uh, that Psalms 32. All right, and also with that, uh, that first John that we read, man. You know, just hoping that the Lord, uh, 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 that the Lord's blood, you know, covers our sins, man. You know, so that so we don't get judged, you know, with the unrighteous, man. You know, that's that's our hope, man. You know, we want to be saved. You know, we want to be de uh, delivered. You know, but um, when you, can I say this too? When you, when, in, the, in the etymology for the word impute, it says to uh, basically to clear up. And then we also when you look at on, on Google, when you look at the word impute, it goes into blame. So those are that's, that's not being blamed for their iniquity or their sin. Because it's covered, it's forgiven. The Lord said you're gonna cast their sins in the in the, in the, in the sea of, of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, the elect. Right. Scriptures say that the, the mercy of the Lord is to them that fear him in Psalms 103. Right, so if you fear your how about you know shot, uh uh you're gonna you're gonna receive that mercy, right? You don't not have those sins imputed unto you, right? It's, it's all about that. That mentality to do good in the eyes of your how about you shot, do that which is well pleasing in his eyes. Continue. That, uh, that contract that contract spirit, mm -hmm. you know, coming to the Lord in a humble mentality, you know. Right. Understanding that you sinners, we're sinners. Uh, turn it, turn it from them uh, sense to the best of your ability, and that with that faith, right? Even that uh, Romans four, it starts to go into that faith, uh, our faith being counted for righteousness, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it speaks about how uh, you want to grab it. Yeah, yeah, I had read it earlier. I can grab it. Yeah. It's like, did you, you read the poem Abraham? I don't believe you did. I know something tripping. Well, I, I didn't read down. Uh, this is uh, Romans four, and. Uh, uh, I read verse nine. It says, "Come." Uh, I read verse eight again. It says, "Blessed is the man who the Lord." When you want to you want me to get a part where it says, uh, "Faith kind of righteousness." Yeah, you can do that. Kind. This is uh, Romans four and uh, verse four again. It says, "Not, Not saying, four. Uh, Romans four. Well, and this verse five. That's what I read earlier. Uh, oh, okay, Romans okay. I see what you're saying. Yep, man. Kind. This is Romans 4 and uh, verse 9 it says, Come cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, or upon the un uncircumcision also, for we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Can you uh, read down to verse 11? Because it, it said it plainly right there, Abraham's faith was counted for uh, for his righteousness. Right? And it's the same with us. Uh, you can, can you yeah, I got you. Uh, Verse eleven it says, <clears> or <throat> oh, verse ten it says, how was it, how was it then reckoned when he was in circumcision or in uncircumcision, not in circumcision but in uncircumcision. So he got that righteousness before he was keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, right? So showing you that it's not all about the law, the law, the law. It's about uh, moving in that faith also, right? And that's that's a part of uh, of the doctrine of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai is moving in that faith. It says uh, in Romans 11, it's impossible to please Yahweh by Chanel Shai without faith. Mm -hmm. yep. Verse 11, it says, And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had yet been uncircumcised. Right. You you truly have faith. You're going to do those things that Yahweh by Chanel Shai wants you to do. That's right. the same with us. You're going you're gonna to strive your best to offend less, like the scriptures say. You're going to rehearse the righteous acts, like it speaks about uh, Judges 5 and 11. And this is it's a continual thing. We gotta keep growing it to the best of our ability. While, uh, but the main thing being that faith. Yep. It says that he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Right. So it's imputed unto us. Right. This is this is how we receive our righteousness. It's, it's, uh, the scriptures say that the uh, the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. 
So this it's all about it's all about having that faith and moving in moving in that fear of your how about Shimia Yeah, what well, the scripture says through grace we are saved through faith. You know, and, and it said that it is it, that is not of ourselves, but it is a gift of uh, of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, man. All right, so it, so having that faith is, is an important thing. You know, the brothers uh, in our camp, you know, they like to always mention how uh, other Israelites call, call us faith-based Israelites. You know, but knowing that faith is is, is something that's going to get us saved, man. You know, you got it's uh, Ephesians chapter two and verse eight. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. Right. Right. So it's not given to all men. You know, it's, it's only given to the faithful in the room. And it starts with the fear of the Lord. You know, fearing the Lord and believing and having faith on Him. And it's only given to a selective few in election. And we're praying and hoping to be. That, those are the ones whose sins are going to be forgiven. And that's going to be covered. And that's going to get delivered. Uh, we can grab uh, 1 John 5 and uh, 18. Uh, this is uh, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 18. Grab, uh, it says, We know that whosoever is born of the Most High sinneth not, but he that is begotten of the Most High keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. Like you, uh, you read that again. Like you. Come, this first John chapter 5, verse 18. We know that whosoever is born of Yahweh sin it not, but he that is begotten of the most high keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. That's right. So it says, uh, uh yep, so it says, whoever uh, is born of the most high sin it not. How, how we uh, how we born again? All right. This is uh, 1 John three and twenty nine. It says, "If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him." Mm. Right? That, he's just going into that uh, that righteousness, right? Then that had that faith, mm -hmm. right? So this is this is uh, a scripture showing how we're born again. If you how about uh, uh, we, we, how we born again, right? It's through our righteousness, right? That, that faith, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 22. It said, And seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit of, uh, through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. All right, and when you go into the, uh, the word obey, all right, it means to, uh, uh, to comply or to submit, okay? So seeing that we have our, uh, purified our souls and obeying our uh, being submitted unto the truth or through the spirit unto unfailing love of the brethren it says see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently being born again not of corruptible seed all right because when you go into the word corruptible it's something that's uh, perishable all right and, and and we're continually uh uh, uh cutting off and or killing you know mortifying the uh, the old man all right but it says it says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. All right, and what's the opposite of uh, uh, um, uh, corruptible, you know? Or, uh, yeah, or what's the opposite of uh, mortal, you know, uh, immortal, you know? But it says, but of incorruptible by the word of the Most High, which liveth and abideth forever, all right? So that's how we're being born again, all right? It's through, it's through, uh, 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 through the word, man. All right. It's good to say uh, righteousness is immortal. To say wisdom bring it to a kingdom. You know that's the that's the word. You know, and then also when, you, when, you, when you, that, that precept you read about obeying, another word for it is command, or someone's command or rule. The command and rule under who? Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Yep. Goes back to uh, being in submission under. Mm -hmm. Which allows that that's what's going to give us everlasting life. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, we'll this one, uh, Ephesians. Oh, nah, Ephesians 4. Oh, this is Ephesians 4 and uh, verse 21. It says, uh, It says, so, If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh's shot. 
that you put all concern in the form of conversation, the old man, which is corrupt, according to the deceitful lust, all right? And it says, and, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put, up, put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness, all right? So that's how we are uh, becoming new men, all right? That's how we are being born again, all right? Uh, 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 by being renewed in the spirit of our minds, and that comes through following out the ways of Yahweh Shah, man, being, uh, uh, being, uh, um, being watered by the word, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, uh, Yahweh Shah even spoke about it to uh, Nicodemus, spoke about being born again. Right, uh, he told Nicodemus that in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven, he needed to be born again. Right, and he said that he needed to be born again through the um, water and the spirit. Yep, through the water and the spirit. Right, that water going in, back into this word, yep. the spirit going back into this word. John yep. 60, 63. Yep. Right, and for the water, you can go to scriptures like Deuteronomy 32 and 1, or uh, I think it's Ephesians 2 and 26. Yep. Like just going into this. Just go, giving the sense that it's through these words how we reborn again, right? Yep. The scripture said if we were born again, there, uh, there's going to be no sin imputed unto us. Roughly paraphrasing that first John. Yep. I got one. This uh, Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9. It said, What well, do shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Mm -hmm. So taking heed unto these precepts, taking heed unto the commands of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what's going to get us. And beautiful from our sins, man. I got one. Yeah. This is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. It says, and being but one, she, that she's speaking about wisdom, right? And where we get our wisdom from? The scriptures speak about how these uh, these uh, words are make, able to make us wise into salvation, right? It's going, it's going back into these words. But it says, and she being one, she can do all things Remain, and remaining in herself she maketh all things new and in all ages entering into holy souls she maketh them friends of the most high and prophets right but what did it say it said it makes all things new right including our minds renewing our minds right it yep. said like it speaks about in romans 12 and 2 right um it says be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind roughly paraphrasing mm -hmm. and we're and what we're renewed according to is this word uh, they got anything else? Yeah. Yeah, I have another one. Uh, John, 1 John 3 and 6. I, I, I got him. It's uh, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 6. It said, Whosoever abided in him, sin it not. Whosoever sin it, had not seen him, neither known him. Uh, it says, Whosoever, uh, it's like, it says, Whosoever abided in him, Sin it not, right? So it's just another uh, scripture going into how we not having our, our sins imputed unto us. They got the other scripture. I forget what it, uh, what it said. It speaks about uh, how we uh, we have to abide, we walk as He walked and walk, we abide yeah. in Him. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, First John chapter two and verse six. It says, "He that said he abided in Him." Ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. Right. So we we we're to have the mind of Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? That's how we abide in him, right? And doing so, we don't we're not gonna have our sins imputed unto us. Right. That's why that's how that's how we receive that that Psalms 32, right? Uh not being blamed for, for our iniquities, right, for our transgressions, right? But we have to walk in that continually, it has to be a mentality, it has to be a way of life. I got one real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 8, uh, 28, in uh, verse 18, it says, Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's straight to the point, man. If you walk uprightly, you'll be saved, you know, walking after the manner of Yah uh, Shah. Yes. You got it up. Walking in his steps. You know, this is uh, Psalm chapter 119 and verse 104. I mean, it's like 105. It say none. It say thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So this word is a lamp unto our feet. This is what lighted by way. Following the steps of Yahweh Shai, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. There's no other way to get to the kingdom. So we gotta follow these these blueprints and these um these commands the Lord has set up. 
for us to get there. Yeah, and that just goes back to showing that we need our Lord Yahweh Shah, you know, without uh, without the uh, what is it said, without the Lord, it says shall no flesh be saved or something like that. Mm -hmm. I love the paraphrasing, but uh. So, but, but ultimately, you know, we need our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. He's our true physician, you know, to to redeem us, you know, to uh, to, to uh, restore us, you know, uh, back to peace. Oh yeah, maybe you think about uh, it says, "I am the way and the truth and the life." I'm just, I'm just that. It's like, yeah, Yahweh Shah is that way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by Him. There ain't no other way. I don't. Know. It's like, Are you good? But uh, they can have enough. I got one more. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 22. It says, Yahweh redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Right? So we have, we have to have that trust in the Lord, right? And you go into what that word desolate is. 441. go into that word desolate it just it basically goes into you you being guiltless right you're not going to be held you're not going to be guilty right if you put that trust in your house your shot so this is what the elect is going to do right they're going to uh they're going to have their trust in your house your shot right it even says that in uh, isaiah 10 and 20 it says uh the remnant is going to be uh, i got you this isaiah it's isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20 it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, that remnant is talking about the elect, it says, shall no more again stay upon him to smoke them, but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth. Right, that, that word stay going into, they're going to be looking into it looking for support from your how about shimmy outside they ain't gonna be looking for no nothing else right they're gonna have that trust right and therefore they're not gonna be desolate right or uh I, my my phone's tweaking right now or, 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 or guiltless guilty yeah they're, they're gonna be guiltless right they're not gonna be held uh guilty for their sin yet they're gonna be blameless yep. right? but that's all right? uh verse 21 it said the remnant shall return even the remnant of jacob unto the mighty power yahweh and that's, that, and that's the elect that's going to return back to the Lord and that's going to um, obey his word. They're going to walk in, in his ways. Uh, can I hit this? Uh, this uh, Psalm chapter 119 and uh, verse 4. It says, Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently, O that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. And we want the Lord to guide us and say he's a guide unto them who keep his commandments and precepts. You know? So those are those men that's the, that, that elect are going to be doing that, that we praying and hoping to be, man. Walking in the ways of the Lord to the best of our ability. I have faith. Yep. Faith, but, Lord, this lesson was edifying. We want to give our praises and glory and honor to. Yeah. We want to give double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom and a bob a bob. Shalom. Shalom.